Remote learning on Blooms can be the simplest thing. You already know how powerful Blooms is when it comes to communication. Now you can enable remote learning and teaching through Bloom's powerful portfolios feature. This is for younger kids who don't need separate passwords but a shared account code. You can simply create a shared code that can be used by all the students to enter either using QR scanning or simply enter the code from their browser on the Chromebook or iPads or any mobile devices. So you click on your class Again, from the class homepage, you look for the settings, click on edit settings, then you scroll down, look for the student access, click and choose the elementary mode. In case of elementary mode, there is one common code they can all enter and then they choose their student name and simply submit their portfolios. Then make sure that the student to student is turned off and when you next section of permissions that you can control is what can parents do and what can students do if you also want parents to contribute to the student portfolio you can optionally turn this on or off in the elementary mode either students can see each other's work or whether they can submit you can also have them submit with moderation or if you are comfortable you can turn off the moderation Now you can access the student codes that you can share with the students or their parents right from here under the access codes from your homepage and click on the students. It gives you QR code as well as code that can be configured for the next six months or even longer. You can keep extending this. You can also access the same information by going to the students tab, clicking on the options and generating either the temporary access code or the QR code post. Students can enter the code if it is on the iPad or on the mobile app. They can also take the QR code and scan. But if you enter the regular code, type in the code. This is the elementary mode where they're sharing a common code. So now they will see the list of all the student names right here. I'm going to pick my name in this case, Adi. And now, once I go into my screen, then I will see the teacher's post here. So this is what the feed uh, that the teacher has been sending. It could be an assignment that the teacher assigned to all the students. And then if I click on the portfolios, that's when I will see my own portfolio at the beginning. And depending on the settings of the teacher, if the teacher allowed the students to comment on others portfolios then I will see other classmates portfolios as a student so if I click on my portfolio then I can see the history of everything that I've posted in the past and to add something I simply click here and then go through the ability to either attach a photo attach a video attach a file I can also add the text right here and then submit now this will depending on the settings of the teacher this will again be sent for the teacher approval if uh, the teacher wants to moderate and then eventually once the teacher approves then it gets added to the student's portfolio permanently.